Hey, Brian from Film Direct here. I just want to do a real quick tutorial on how to do a spot color separation in Photoshop. If all you got is a raster image, and it's it's an okay raster image, it may not be the best in the world, but you gotta you gotta get it done. You don't have time to vectorize it. Um, you can do it in Photoshop pretty easily. First thing you want to do is um, check the check the image size to make sure it's um, it's good enough to use between two and three hundred. I'd recommend. Um, at the size that you want to output it at. For this particular design, we're going to do it right around 8.5 by 9 at 300 dpi. Hit OK. Um, now we're going to go ahead and select, we're going to start selecting these colors out of this design. So what you want to do is go to Select, Color Range, and you're going to pick, you're going to eye drop whatever color you want to, whatever color you want to separate. Um, right here, you got this thing called fuzziness. And what this does is it it, it, it adjusts what, how many, um, how many pixels are it's going to pull for that particular color. Um, you want to get a really nice black and white contrast. So just slide it back and forth. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. You just got to, you just got to do it a few times to figure out what what works best. So I'm going to put it right about there. Hit OK. That's going to, that's going to give you a selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to select, save selection. We'll, we'll name it blue. And then we'll deselect it, and then we'll pick our second color. We'll go for the yellow. Again, you can slide the fuzziness back and forth to kind of pull the color. Hit OK. And we'll go select, save selection, name it yellow. And then from there, we'll go ahead and preview the channel, see how we did. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's, it looks fairly smooth for a pixel for a for a raster file. You really want to get the image as black and white as possible. If if the black is less than 100% black, it'll actually half tone out when you send it to the rip or your printer. So you can use your eyedropper tool. I drop it on the color and see if you got 100% black right here. You're gonna see it. Either got 100% black and 0% white. That means you got a nice solid color there. Nice solid separation. So let's go to the yellow and check it out. So we got we got 100% there. This this area looks a little bit light. This line looks a little bit light. So yeah, it's coming in at 89%. So what you're going to want to do is um, go to select. Uh, is it select all? No, that's not the one. Basically, if you just go right, if you if you control click on the channel. It'll it'll say it'll bring up the selection. Then you can go to edit, fill, and you want to fill it with 100% black. You got 100% black. Now it's going to give you your nice solid separation. You notice a little bit of sawtooth here. Um, it's probably not going to matter too much once it hits the press. It should probably be all right. Um, for this particular design, it's going to go on red shirts, so we're going to build an underbase. So we got our two channels. Um, a quick way to do an underbase is you can actually go in and select, collect the, select the shirt color. That's going to bring up all the red. Do the same, you know, adjust your fuzziness here. Hit OK, and from there we're going to select inverse, and that selects basically what you want to be for the underbase because you want the blue and the yellow to be underbased. So then we're going to choke back that underbase by going select, modify, contract. Um, a lot of times I do it at two pixels. You can do one. Um, I'd recommend either one or two pixels. For this particular design, I'm going to do it two pixels. And then I'm going to go ahead and select, save my selection. I'm going to name it base. And um, we'll preview the channel. There's our, there's our under base. It, it looks pretty good. It's 100% black. You can see that the, both colors are sitting on top of the underbase. You can see right there how far back the underbase is, is choked. I'll highlight the underbase. There's the underbase and then and then here's your yellow. So you can see how far back that color has been underbased. So that's pretty much it. There's your there's your two color with an underbase. Um, from here you can either take it, you can save it as a DCS2 file, take it into Illustrator and and shoot the separations, print the film from Illustrator, or if you want to print from Photoshop, 
Just select the, select the channels you want to print, file, print. You know, you can bring up uh, whatever printer if you're using a rip, and, you know, set it to your act rip. Um, you know, you can change the scale or whatever you want to do. But for this, for this application, we would just hit print. It would send the three, it would send the three files onto the rip and then to the printer. So that's pretty much it. The next video I'm going to be doing is it'll show you how to how to shoot this um, how to shoot this image from Illustrator and add any, any add any kind of vector text if you want to. So stay tuned for that one. All right, thanks.